work as a photographer and mostly with documentary projects uh, and personal projects, which are a bit more artistic. Um, and I find um, I have been work it's it's quite a male dominant world, so there is quite a lot of sexism going on, uh, which you can decide to hear or not. Um, I haven't had so many bad experiences, but it's sometimes it's been a bit tough because I've been working a lot in conflict zones, uh, and there there's like even the photographers are mostly male, and and then there's a kind of way of speaking and behaving which is really masculine and. That has probably been the thing that has um, bothered me most, more than the actual like people who hire me. It's been more like the, the field work, even my, my close friends, how they behave and how they talk about women and, and this sort of, uh, this kind of thing has been the most difficult one. When I worked in the Middle East, I focused a lot on women and uh, because I had access to women in a way that, so that's when being a woman is actually an access, because I could, uh, if you just ask the permission to, for, for m the men, if you can actually photograph women and they say yes, and you have a much better way of telling stories that wouldn't really be told otherwise. So I've been focusing a lot, for example, I worked in Yemen and, and I was focusing on divorcees who have like a really bad status and in Gaza during a war I was shooting uh, women who gave birth. So these are sort of things that you like hoping that you could actually like tell something that people don't really see otherwise or wouldn't know. And then the the question if you can actually change something is a bit more complex, but the hope is always that, that you actually highlight stories that wouldn't otherwise be told. So that's how I've been working with feminism, mostly from a documentary perspective. Well, I try to get a balance, have a balance, but sometimes it's quite hard because you come back from, from working on stories that are quite, for yourself, they're very important, and then you come back to society where these are not even a question. As for an example, Sweden, no? which is a very, it's sort of like an advanced country in many ways, but there's the, the, the problems are more like luxury problems. So, so the re, like for example, if I come back from, once I remember I came back from, from this story, shooting the women in Gaza during a war, and then I come back and it's summer and I see my nephew and my niece, and you just see, they, they've seen it on TV, no? that there is a war and that there's things happening, but they can't connect to that because they don't know this reality that kids are dying and that, these kinds of things are happening, so society is so different. And that is sometimes hard to sort of, it's hard to go from, from working on, on, on issues that you are passionate about, and then to come home and realize that nobody really cares about these issues, or maybe they care, but on a very superficial level, because it doesn't mean that they would actually be involved or feel it. And then I feel I failed, <laughs> because what you want is actually to people be like, wow, this is really happening, and something should be done, but then that's not really how the world um, works, I think. Mm -hmm.